Hello. So uh, we are at dot .scale, so we'll talk about something scaly, zeta scale, because web scale is for babies. Uh, this is me, I'm Ori Peckelman, everywhere, GitHub, whatever. And uh, this is a baby. And the same thing as web scale computing. Uh, we can do a serious bunch of terabytes today without any kind of worries with something like this. And this is easy peasy, kind of a cluster of five raspberries, 100 bucks. Or this, a cluster of 64 of them, 2,500 bucks, and it's a terror of flash, it's fast. Uh, a few petabytes, well, this can be handled, uh, it's just gonna cost you, it's 1,000 terabytes, right? And this is a terabyte these days. Just a stick. And so, kind of, for whatever we've been doing recently, uh, MySQL, Postgres, Redis, uh, is a gigascale thing, right? Redis memory, who doesn't have a machine with 64 gigabytes? Oh, oh. and with a, a lot of application level sharding, we can terascale it, maybe even more, and, uh, well, I'll just let you read the slide. Um, <laughs> Uh, and in production, we have been at Petascale with CouchDB, Cassandra, and Hadoop. Uh, but then you have really, really bought a lot of machines, right? Uh, this is Zeta. 10 to the power of 21. These are the numbers. These are the zeros that represent it. And it's a very recent thing, right? It's from 1991. The term itself, well, we didn't need the term to, to, to have a, a, an idea of it before that. And by the way, kind of same year, exa, but exa is small, so. So how much is a zettabyte? Let's visualize. Well, with current technology, a zettabyte hard disk will weigh around five million tons or about 10 billion pounds. It makes for an Eiffel Tower, which is 100 miles high. Up. So it's small there, but uh, uh, you're in orbit. Uh, and uh, basically, I, I, I would prefer if you, all of us took our ener energies together to build a damn big Eiffel Tower, except, <laughs> but, I mean, kind of. Uh, so let's visualize some more. Uh, we have something like 400,000, yeah, that number, in uh, waking hours in human life. Uh, a human that will have watched TV continuously from birth to death will have consumed around half a petabyte. Uh, well, you'll have a very nasty headache, too. All of humanity watching TV together over a span of a lifetime will have consumed just three zettabytes. An adept human can produce around three, 30 kilobytes of information per hour. Uh, so around 14 terabytes per life. That's all we can do. Uh, and he will have to type on a keyboard for 16 hours a day at constant speed. Uh, humanity taking no sick days, and re regardless of its continuous and nasty headache, will need nine billion years to produce a zettabyte. And the universe is only 13 billion years old. And yet, in 2016, we will already be producing something like 100 exabytes. Or oh, more thingies with exabytes and zettabytes on them. Why? Well, because we love big data. And it ain't gonna be video, it's going to be a lot of minute human data interaction, denormalized and repeated. Don't be a data squirrel. N'y va pas, Manuel, n'y va pas. Y'a des choses dans la vie qu'on ne fait pas. Thank you.